and welcome to Alex Temp's Tabletop. That's me, I'm Alex, hello. So today's video I'm going to show you how to paint snake scales, snake skin, snake stuff for Daughters of Cain, for Age of Sigma, the IP by Games Workshop, Warhammer, blah blah blah. Um, this tutorial as well can be used for other snake based miniatures, it doesn't just have to be Daughters of Cain for Warhammer. But before we get going, as usual, if you like it, drop by, leave a comment if you like subscribe because it helps the channel and you can spread the word and all that boring jazz but we're just gonna get on with it um, this is essentially footage from a previous twitch stream pick up my twitch lol and I'll just do like a narration over it and then we'll have the end picture so we're gonna just get on with it so in a bit bam hello so first off you want to spray your model Mechanica standard gray and then what I did is put a base coat over of corn red so yeah Put that over, thin your paints, two thin coats, you don't want it too heavy. And you got a kind of nice, consistent red there, so that's good, isn't it? And now what we're going to do, I've watered down some Abaddon Black, and I'm going to kind of work down the back of the snake, so like the top scales, they're kind of prominent on the model. That said, this um, colour scheme I'm doing, you can of course do something different. I'm just following some of the box art and the colour scheme I want to go for. So here I am, I'm just going down. You want to kind of do two kind of coats with this, like kind of two thin coats, but a bit more consistent with the laminate medium because then it's kind of acting like a glaze. So you build it upon the red. So it's like not too thick then. And then here I am just working away at it. I don't know what to say here, like I could commentate, but it's just, yeah, here I am, just applying it. And don't worry if you make any mistakes, because we're going to actually tidy that up in a bit with the next part of the painting guide. Oh, look at that, magic, we're on the next part. So now, to kind of blend the black and red back together, we're going to kind of go back over with the corn red, which is watered down with new medium, and you're just going to kind of go side by side and that will help blend them together like kind of the glazes so it kind of gives a nice look and as well you can tidy up the mistakes and if you're wondering why does some of the models in the in this tutorial look different I was batch painting on this stream so now and then you may see me actually demonstrating on different um, model poses but you're still there's still gonna be the same results so don't panic So now on the next part, it's doing the pattern. As most of this paint scheme is, it's up to you. I did it kind of random with each snake person because scales are random. Here I used um, Evil Sunset Red, and now I'm just picking up random parts. As usual, if you're doing a different paint scheme, go for like a brighter. If you're doing like blue, go for a brighter blue. If you're doing green, go for a brighter green. It's kind of just common sense, you know, you kind of just do what suits your paint skill. But here I was just kind of picking up random scales, trying to make it look natural because I guess nature is random. And you're probably thinking, these reds are quite bright, they're kind of, they kind of don't match the corn red, but we're going to get to that in a bit, I know, so much mystery, excitement. Ah, and here's your answer. So now what you're going to go is go over the entire model again, not the black bits of course, but over the sunset red with another kind of watered down glaze of lanyard medium and corn red. And that will then tone down the brightness of the sunset scarlet and it will kind of blend in a lot nicer and it will appear more natural. Because at the minute it does look out of place. But it actually does a really good effect once you put the water down red on top it just really brings it together a bit but it helps make the rest of the model pop because you've got these little random scales that are a bit brighter than others and now here is a classic agrax earth shade just apply it all over you can go heavy you can go like what i often do now with my washes i don't know why it's just what i do i add a little bit of lanny medium because i don't want it to be too heavy on the model if that makes sense so i don't want it to be too dark Lamy medium is really good. It's like 
magical water, but it's kind of like you can make your paints into glazes with it. So even if you don't like the painting tutorial, I guess one thing you can take away with this is use laminate medium, it's a really good um, essential for any hobbyist out there. I'm just getting to all those um, crooks and crannies. And now, kind of the last bit for the skin, this is all sped up, is Dawnstone. So you kind of want to dry brush kind of heavily on the, the belly of the snake, be it the front and then the underneath part. But then on the actual scales itself, you kind of want to feather it. You don't want to be too heavy, but you want to just kind of pick out the rest of the model. And here you can see me doing the classic dry brush technique, putting it onto the tissue and making sure there's no excess. And there I am just kind of lightly picking it off. And as you can see here in this footage, it's really bringing out those blacks and reds now. It's kind of bringing it together. Don't panic if you've got a squad and some are like a bit lighter and heavier than others, because the way I see it, it just adds a bit of diversity. But it keeps them all uniform. And, that, and that, that's basically it. That is how you do snake skin. And just going under that underbelly now. And here's a previous model I've done, just kind of demonstrating what it looks like. So as you see, go heavy on the belly, but then on the rest of the model, go kind of lightly. And there you go, that's how you do snake skin for Daughters of Cain or any other kind of snake miniature out there. And hopefully that was a helpful, quick, easy tutorial. It's very beginner basic stuff. If I can do it, then surely you can too, because that's the whole point, it's meant to be easy. Um, if you have any more recommendations of stuff you want to see, cool. As usual, leave a suggestion as well. Um, I'll leave a link to my previous Daughters of Cain video. It's how to start Daughters of Cain Army for Warhammer Age of Sigma. It's quite helpful, it's doing okay, so that's good. And as usual, before I go, maybe think of subscribing. It's pretty cool when people do that because it kind of gives me a little more around. I'm like, wow, people want to see more stuff. But we're going to see more Daughters of Cain stuff. Actually, while I'm at it, this actually arrived the start collecting set so we're going to see some more stuff maybe i'll do some more like maybe some painting guides and more tips if you want to see it that's when i'm like leave feedback if it helps but yeah that was good that was good I'm, I'm excited to start that um yeah just hype i'm thinking as well we'll do daughters of cane and maybe in the future we'll do some skaven stuff because i actually have the skaven back at home and the Skaven thing to paint, so maybe some Skaven painting tips. I don't know, I'm rambling a bit now. We should maybe go. So goodbye, bye bye.